So, working on a uh, Fujitsu Air Stage VRF today, three pipe heat recovery. Um, nothing too exciting, basically all we're doing is um, uh, pumping this thing down, they're adding an extra head to it. So, basically pump it down, they'll do the the, um, the head replacement, or the head uh, addition, and then I'll back it out, add the additional and get it back up and running. So, interested to see what these things are like, it's the first one I've seen. I'm going to be able to pump this thing down. You can see the additional is only so 4.8, so I think it's 16.4 in total. Um, so we'll see if we can pump it down. You know, we'll pump it down as much as we can, and then we'll uh, recover the rest of the gas if we need to. Uh, looks all right so far. Uh, doesn't look too bad. set up and ready to go. Um, from my understanding, I can use those buttons basically to get into like a, uh, a forced cooling. I'll see if I can try to find a, a diagram. I had a quick flick through the service manual last night and couldn't really find anything. So um, yeah, we'll just see how we go. Uh, so I got the service manual here. So it tells me, so function mode F3, if I go to double zero, that's a cooling test run. Um, and again, I did have a look at the, the refrigerant diagram on here, but it doesn't tell me if they're both, um, like if both pipes become a suction um, so I will just, yeah, see what happens when I put it into a test cooling. Um, all right, let's see how we go. So, uh, mode, so F1, F3, double zero, enter. We'll have to go select. Nope. Oh dear. Let's try that again. We'll have to hold it down. Actually, that might be it. Ah, there you go. And it just stopped and I've got no idea why. <laughs> Oh man, oh, I'll try to work out why, but uh, maybe it's just, it takes a little while to get going, you know, it is pretty chilly. Looks nice though. Um, it did look like that that was going um, as a maybe a, a high discharge gas coming out, so 
at worst, what I can do is just close the liquid at least. That way, I can try to suck back as much as we can. I'll close that, and before I close that, I'll just kill power, quickly close it, and might have to recover a little bit of gas, but that's fine. All right, we're back. So, I don't know what happened. Anyway, uh, let's wait to see what happens here. Oh, there we go, I heard something happen. So I've decided to put my port onto there, which seems to be coming in just above that pipe. So if I do end up closing that, at least I can keep a high on my head, an eye on my head pressure. Um, if it gets too high, you know, well, it gets too high, I guess. <laughs> huh, that seems way too quick. There's no way. Huh, interesting. I mean, it may have just been a coincidence, but literally as I close that, I heard a valve click and no, no way. Try that again. Right. Now close that and let's see what happens. Right. Well, we do seem to be pumping down, so that's nice. Just heard the compressor ramp down. I think it knows something's wrong. <laughs> See how close we get. Come on, baby. Oh, I think a valve just clicked, so I might, uh, yeah, we'll close that up now. That's probably as close as we're gonna get. All right, I'll close that now. I think that was about as close as we were gonna get, to be honest, so. Look, not too bad, but um, obviously I'm focusing more on that one. That's reading from our pipe side. Um, yeah, might have a little bit to recover, but that's that's fine. Go get the reclaim gear up now. Beautiful, we are ready to go. Everything's set up, we're purged to the bottle. So uh, I've got power off at the moment, but according to this, it's F3 or mode F3, vacuuming mode is 21. So get the reclaim up and running, then we'll put it into that mode. All right. All right, we're up and running. <coughs> power back on. <laughs> 21, 21. All right, so we go. Hold that down. Fail. <laughs> well, that's annoying. All right, we are in vacuum mode now. So, I mean, fuck. There's not much. It's totally worth it. <laughs> All right, that's us done at least the next little while. They, uh, they'll they get the new head installed and we'll move on from there. All right, so we're just gonna purge some nitro for the uh, the mech guys. Um, All right, so we've got this little thing. Very, very cool. 60 bucks little uh, like purge regulator, it's awesome. All right, we are now up to a pressure test. So we will let this sit for half hour and we'll see what happens. Um, this was the, I didn't get a good view of it before, but this little thing, um, It's awesome, man. It's so good. Uh, picked it up from Actrol for 70 bucks, I think it was. Brilliant. I, uh, I'm pretty happy with that, so I think we might get this thing on back now. All right, we're underway. Uh, it was really dragging there for a while, but um, we're down to about 170 now. So we've we'll been on for maybe two hours. Um, so yeah, let this keep running for a while. The idea is to get this thing back up and running today. So, uh, and that way we're basically in and out one day, which would be nice. So we're jumping in to a decay test now. Um, yeah, we'll see where that stabilized without at. So stabilized out at around 4.05, I think it was, um, which considering it's only been on back for maybe three hours, I'm actually pretty happy with that. 
Um, we're going to charge up now. So I'm going to go through the liquid line to start off with. I've still got the ball valves closed. Uh, so additional for the extra head is 1.5. Well, actually, it was like 1.3 something, but I, uh, I recovered that 200 odd grams from the from the system. So we're not going to get that out of the bottle. So I'll just add that with the new the new gas. So yeah, about 1.5. So all our valves are open. The additional 1.5 is now in. So we'll put this thing through a, uh, a heat test mode. So let's see if I can remember how to do this. <coughs> uh, so F3, enter, uh, O1, this heat test. Done, all right, beautiful. <coughs> we'll wait for this thing to fire up. Um, we ended up changing over to test cooling because for whatever reason heating was taking forever um, so we're up and running now it's only just turned on so yeah we'll monitor for a bit I've been running for a while now so we're gonna take it out of test mode uh, I believe I just hit that I guess all right so to get it out of test mode I had to go to mode O2 so double O a double zero is uh, test cooling 01 test heating and 02 is test stop. So the, the board's flashing OR. So from this, it's telling me it's going into an oil recovery. Now, I've been told this thing goes into an oil recovery and it's loud as shit. So I'm very excited to hear this. Just in the process of packing up now, I'm pretty much done up here. Uh, it's running by itself now in heat mode. So I've got a couple on downstairs. This is our indoor unit here, but as you can see, it obviously hasn't got any power yet. Um, I was gonna come set the port addresses and indoor unit addresses, uh, or on this one anyway, but it turns out the rest of them are auto address, so I'll have to, we'll have to sort that out once power and all that kind of stuff is run. Um, but outside of that, I'm pretty much done here, so cool. Thank you for watching.